And he'll face Brandon Birdsell. That ball chopped right back up the middle, fielded. But the throw from Wilson is not going to be in time. Gus really no opportunity there to get Eric Kennedy at first base. Melinda is not a guy that is likely to bunt the ball. 11 home runs. That might be number 12. And it is. Didn't take him long. Saw that pitch from Birdsell that he liked and just rockets that one out to left field. It's 2 nothing Texas. Hit that one pretty well, too, from Stevens, and he's done it again. Morrell leads off in the bottom of the first with a home run on the first pitch that he gets to see his third of the year, and that gets the Red Raider crowd on their feet here in Lubbock and the bullpen on the outfield wall. It's the third time in a week, John, that Easton Morrell has let off a ball game with a home run. Cole Stillwell sends one right back up the middle. Ball four to Jace Young, and the Red Raiders have two on. Stevens, the right-hander. There's a ground ball. It may find a hole. Faltini can't get there. Rounding third is Cole Stillwell. He'll tie the ball game on the single to left field by Ty Coleman. That's ball four. Not close on that three and one pitch, and now the second walk of the inning will load the bases. It's Texas career. That ball's lined into the gap in right center field, probably scores two. Jace Young has come around to score. Ty Coleman following him. Washburn has delivered a two-run single here in the bottom of the first inning, and the Red Raiders now up 4-2 over Texas. That ball's hit hard, too. Another single into left field. Hudson White gets Kurt Wilson home. And the Red Raiders have five runs here in the first inning. Kurt doesn't have to steal home, just gets to trot home easily. Red Raider fans will take a three-run shot here. That ball's lined right past Messenger at third. That'll score a run. It'll be a double for Parker Kelly. At least score one. Red Raiders are going to try to score two. Throw is not going to be in time. And safe at the plate is Hudson White, who comes all the way around from first base. Snap throw down to third is in time. Parker Kelly had drifted too far off the bag. Ardwan to Messenger. May have another here. It's a towering fly ball to left field. The Red Raiders aren't going to be able to get there. Morrell ran out of room. Three and one pitch to Melendez, and he hit it out of the ballpark. His second home run today and third of this series. Wow. Well, we talked about it at the end of the previous inning. You're trying to make sure that he's leading off an inning. Maybe back-to-back -back home runs, and it is. Staley got that full count pitch and just rocketed it out to left field over the head of Easton Morrell. Backed up on that one, and the Longhorns have their third home run of the game. Gus, it clearly shows the importance of staying ahead in the count because you've got to come back with something close. And Well, this ball's blooped into right field, but Melendez is on with a single. Yeah, hit makes his pitch there and really gets a pretty good result. And a runner at second base here in the top of the seventh for Texas. And there's ball four. That is the first Texas batter walked in the game today. Keep some traffic on the bags here. That ball's lined into the gap in left center field. That'll score at least one, maybe two. Gets past Dylan Carter all the way to the wall. Ardwan's got his first hit of the series. A two-run double. And the Longhorns are down by one now as the first three here in the seventh inning have all reached base. Red Raiders going to play the infield at medium depth. Tie game. Messenger delivers. 
Into right center field, Dylan Carter has just run it down in front of the big scoreboard. Throw back into second, but Messenger is there sliding in with a double. Cash goes the other way. Down the left field line, long run for Morelli's in foul territory, and he makes a sliding catch. Makes the play in foul territory to end the inning. Oh, that hit him. Fastball at 96 miles an hour off the leg of Easton Morell. Ground ball, that's through the hole on the left side. Hit it between Faltini and Messenger, and the Red Raiders have runners at first and second with one out, and Jace Young coming to the plate. Hits it pretty well, but it's going to be foul down the left field line. Kennedy giving chase to wow. it. Smashes into the fence out there. Wow, what a play. Goodness. With two on for the Red Raiders, that ball hit hard, but scooped up by Messenger. Goes the short way to Daly at second. And the Red Raider threat of runners at first and second with one out is erased. They've both been on base four times and scored five of the seven runs for Texas. Hodo is on with a walk. Really is on the move, but not for the reason you want. Melendez has just ripped another ball into left field. Another single. Staley's got an 0-1 count. And he hits that one pretty well out to left field. Easton Morrell is back, but the ballpark's not going to hold it. Staley's got his second home run of the game, and the Longhorns have a three-run lead. After that, Brandon Beckel pitch is launched over the Longhorn bullpen in left field. Key guy out of the Red Raiders bullpen. Now Gertens walked to this inning. Past the outstretched arm of Parker Kelly. That's a line shot single for Faltini. Skyler Messenger hits another ball into left field. Morell's not going to get it. He's going to run it down in the left field corner, but a run is scored. It'll be a double for Messenger. Ardwan comes around to score Faltini to third, and now Texas with runners at second and third, and they have a four-run lead over the Red Raiders. Three and two pitch, swing and a miss. Foul tip caught by Stillwell for out number two here. And they do. Swing and a miss by Cash. Still well dropped it. He's going to have to make that throw to first, and he does. So Beckel gets three strikeouts in the inning. But hit a ball, hit a couple balls on the button in that last inning, but right at guys. Wilson gives that one a ride to pretty deep center field, going back on back and back, and it's off the wall. Hodo can't make a play. Wilson's going to have a triple to start off this eighth inning. Well, that brings the Red Raider fans here to their feet. Tech needs four runs to catch the Longhorns. And he just has. Lifted into center field, likely deep enough to score Kurt Wilson from third. Hodo makes the catch. The throw coming back into second. That'll keep Washburn at first base, but the Red Raiders score the run on the sacrifice fly by Hudson White. Would like him at third base if Parker Kelly delivers. But that's ball four. That's two walks in the last three Red Raider batters. Morrell hit it hard. It might be over the head of Hodo in center field, and it is. Bounces off the big wall there. It'll be a double for Morrell. The Red Raiders are going to score a couple of runs and narrow the gap even more as Washburn and Parker Kelly come around to score. That one gets away from Ardwan. That's a hit. This game's going to be tied. Stillwell delivers with a line drive into right field. And coming in from third is Easton Norell. Tie game at 11 all. Red Raiders have four runs across here in the bottom of the eighth. Takes the call strike three. 95 miles an hour on that pitch from Eckhart, and it fooled the Red Raiders' second baseman. Has two home runs himself today. Yeah, he's a triple away from the cycle. 
Melendez walks. He's on base again, though. Ball line over a leaping Parker Kelly at third base. It's in the corner in left field. This is just what you're talking about. But it will be a double for Staley. And Melendez comes all the way around to third base. That ball hit like a rocket. And Bo Blessy set him down. Does not. He'll send him to first base with a walk. Second of the inning. Swing and a miss. Got him. Longhorns leave the bases loaded in the top of the ninth inning. In the top of the ninth. And now have their leadoff runner on here in the bottom of the ninth. The pitch from Eckhart hits Ty Coleman in the shoulder. Ground ball towards Daly at second. This could be two. Baltini throw back to first is a Longhorn double play. Hit it hard. That's a single in the right field. Found the opening there between Melendez and Daly. On the ground right to Daly. He'll make the play at first base, and the Red Raiders' ninth inning is over. Well, Messenger winds up walking. Ground ball, it is through on the right hand side. Campbell's going to be at third. Washburn comes up throwing. It'll be cut, well, not cut off. Pretty nice throw over to third base, but Campbell gets there on the single by Eric Kennedy. That ball's going to get down. I think Dylan Carter diving attempt. I don't know. Did he catch it or did he trap it off the ground? Got to play at the plate. Here comes the throw home. It's going to be, oh, Stillwell dropped the ball. No oh. tag, no tag. Got him. Eric Kennedy slid past Stillwell at the plate but did not touch home base. Tried to come back after Stillwell bobbled the ball, and the Red Raider catcher puts a tag on him. But the question here is whether or not Dylan Carter caught that ball in the outfield to start that play. Here's that play in the outfield again. Long run for Dylan Carter. Did not catch it. Tried to sell it, but then hops up and throws the ball back in. So do not believe that Carter caught that ball off the bat of Doug Hodo. Dylan Campbell scores from third. Eric Kennedy tries to come around from first base. And the thought there is that he is out at home to end the inning. But Texas will have a run across. We're getting the no, no catch, catch call in center field. Play at the plate. And we're out. calling him out. There yeah. you go. That'll get down into the corner in left field. Parker Kelly's going to have a double. Kennedy's there to pick it up and get the ball back in. But the Red Raiders lead off batter here in the bottom of the 10th inning. Carter shows bunt again. That pitch up and in. Got away from the catcher. Ardwan's trying to pick it up, but he'll have no chance on a throw to third base. Swing and a miss by Dillon. This is of a DH. And that pitch hits Morrell. Second time in this game he's been hit by a pitch. Ground ball right back up the middle. Nixon knocked it down. Red Raiders are going to score a run at the plate, and he throws the ball there. And the Red Raiders have two on now. And a run across the plate as Parker Kelly scores from third. Three and one pitches. High ball four to Jace Young. Ground ball towards first. Melendez up to get it. Throw comes home. There's one as Porter is forced there for out number two, but no chance to get that ball back down to first base. Outfield medium depth and straight away for Wilson. Hit it well. This one may be out of the ballpark. Campbell gives chase. It's a grand slam. Walk off grand slam for Kurt Wilson and the Red Raiders have rallied to win this one over the Longhorns and take game two. Kurt Wilson is the hero for a second night in a row here at Dan Law Field, Gus. How about that? Wow. Kurt Wilson has had a flair for the dramatic in his time on this campus. Going all the way back to 2019 in the Super Regional. 
He was great in the postseason last year. Guys were jokingly calling him Mr. June. He gets the stolen base of home <laughs> last night, and now a grand slam to walk it off on just a crazy, crazy day of baseball. 16 to 12.